How's it going everyone? I've got a few minutes spare so I figured I would make another SFBV. And today I'm going to be talking about the Everlasting Gasket which is made with cardboard and PTFE. And you can use it in your still which is pretty awesome. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and a craft knife. First step is to draw the size of the gasket you want. I did this by tracing the inside diameter, the pipe diameter for my um, T section which is currently on my still and then tracing around the outside of the ferrule. Um, once you've done that obviously you just need to cut it out so I use scissors for the outside and then I'm going to use the craft knife for the inside. Okay so being straight up with you guys I did not invent this this is not my idea I saw it and I thought that it looked absolutely awesome so I gave it a whirl I'm not entirely sure who to credit with the original idea. If you guys know, get back to me, that would be awesome. To cut the inside of the gasket out, you basically have two options. One is to work from the inside out, kind of cutting a square and working your way out towards the circle. Personally, for me, that did not work very well. I found it easier to just gently trace the circle, the line that you actually want to cut on, working your way a millimeter at a time down into the cardboard. Eventually you'll be able to just flip the cardboard over, see the line that you've been working on as it's sort of almost perforated and just finish the cut like that. All right, seeing as I'm using corrugated cardboard, I'm gonna give it a squish now. And the reason for that is I don't want it to compress too much after I've wrapped it in tape. All right, so the next step is to wrap it in the PTFE. Problem is, on a two inch, for a two inch column, that doesn't fit through the middle. So we're just simply gonna cut off the rings around the outside of the tape. Just a pair of scissors will do it. It's pretty soft plastic. On both sides. I just realized that this is a 12 meter roll of PTFE, not a 10 meter roll of PTFE. So it actually doesn't fit through there either. All right, this may sound super basic to some of you guys, but it actually took me to get halfway through one of these to figure it out. When you wrap it, have the tail side facing down. So as you're wrapping it, the, um, the tape doesn't unravel more than it needs to. If you do it the other way, let me show you. If you do it this way, you're very quickly gonna end up with a super long tail. Every time you wrap it, it's gonna unwrap more and more like that, you don't want that. So tail, tail side down and just work your way around. Uh, you want to be overlapping at least half of the width of the tape, like that. And you can just work your way all the way around. PTFE tape is super cheap, um, so I'm not worried about using a lot of it. I'm actually gonna go all the way around this twice. I'm gonna do a double layer, um, just to be super safe and just so it, it might make it last a little bit longer. But these things are actually surprisingly durable. I kind of thought that it would be like a one-time use thing, but no, they, um, they hold together pretty well. All right, so that is once around, and I'm gonna go around again. As you can see, I didn't cut a uh, <laughs> very good circle, but to be honest, I think it's gonna work anyway. You may want to, depending on exactly what you're using to clamp these things, you may want to experiment with the width of cardboard, uh, sorry, the thickness of the cardboard you use or perhaps doubling it up. Uh, this is the way I made the last one I used and it seems to be working really well. The cool thing is you can use the same technique for all sorts of things. Here's a swing top glass jar, which I want to store booze in, but I don't want the silicon gasket getting in touch with anything. So, I can wrap that too. So luckily these jars that I'm using, uh, you don't actually need to stretch this gasket a whole lot to get it over uh, the lip on the jar itself, on the glass. I'm not too sure, because I've got some others where you actually have to stretch the rubber or the silicon a whole lot to get it over the little rim. I don't know if it would work. I don't know how the PTFE would take that. Um, obviously it would stretch, but I wonder if it would bounce back. Anyway. Same thing, you don't need to watch me do this all over again. So there you have it guys, PTFE gaskets for pretty much anything you want. That's cool.
So if you know who it was that came up with these things, drop a comment down below and let me know because uh, that guy should get props. This is pretty cool. If you've done something similar to this, but in a different kind of way that's interesting, also drop a comment and let us know. See you guys.